uh, jungle as well. Not involved Drift though. Uh, uh, <laughs> back in the day, 2014? I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jungle and mid lane as well. Follow was a thing. For fans. Ooh. But even though he was spotted, he's still going in. They do dive under the tower. G can might be in a lot of trouble this time around. The first blood gonna come through here for Tracy. He's for stack action just drifting away, still flashing on the other side. And we'll be fine. <laughs> and the thumbs up from Weiba. Uh, yeah, well, well, towards a tri bush and exited the other route, he would have died and gave a yeah. kill towards Weiba. Yeah, because Faye was there, right? Just going there. About to enter the tri brush, but bottom lane, the wind does not take him out, but still is gonna get taken down. This time, Wave Gaming answers back with their own kill. retreat, but they're just trying to delay the dragon take. RH gonna be taken down. Actually, took a bit more time since it is gonna be interfered here by Corn. Still, it's gonna be in a lot of trouble this time around. It's gonna get taken down. Span is able to heal himself back to full health with the honey fruit. Yeah, I was able to dodge as well. Uh, Fan is able to dodge some of the shurikens coming out from that. Uh, yeah. From. Mm. I mean. Zian has been so stable. That's the best way I can describe him right now. As they turn here onto the Galio, there's nothing that Juju can do except deal some poke damage, but it's not yet being felt that much by way of a game despite two kills that he had earlier. Yeah. After 100 HP this time. You? Maybe 100 to 0 if to one you is not going to be that safe. Four members flashes away with the Valkyrie as well, but still going to be pinned down by Tracy Sports. They should get this tower as well, but they don't have a wave. So now Wave of Gaming is just gonna go with a punish, taking Wave down. Us on 600 yeah. gold lead again. Now he's gonna get turned by three people. We're either gonna be far trying to stay alive, but will not anymore with the meteor enchant as well. Used against him. Been down already. One member out on Wave of Gaming. The dragon is being spawned. At least contested this time around by Crazy Sports. Having the leverage in terms of numbers, Pan is in the vicinity, maybe trying to get a good angle towards the backside, but it is gonna be so risky because Lisa is also in the vicinity, popping that edge of night of Pei, now making him more vulnerable as the just response is gonna be his fan, is gonna be on the way to maybe steal out this dragon with stat and the steal! It's just amazing actually by fan! And he was so patient with it as well! But what will be the cost? So many barriers from Weibo Games is gonna be pinned down and Trace Esports got three. Yeah, Tracy Sports got gets three in the victory, end. victory. There's a big fight. Yeah, see, and the Sai Wan wants to have his revenge and lands a dark in place. The hammer as well is being poured down. Juju gonna be the next target, but still able to flash away. That's away as well with the Ark and Chip. Double kill as well is gonna be secured by this Ezreal. Zihan getting kited, outplayed, unable to land the sword this time around, gets hookshot in, lands the sword, but a triple kill instead by Juju. And the tables have been turned here by Trace Esports. Early game, felt like it was Weibo Gaming getting the advantage, but still? Right. Okay. Weibo Gaming is Shield. so important to take Juju. Leading charge, 2,000 gold lead, and it's just starting to deal the massive damage now. Bangita is gonna be already. Zian is well, popping the world ender, but this is gonna be hooked out of the way. And extra cool to make them here onto the ribbon, taking him down as well. And Zian is gonna be next. The damage so pure coming from Juju. Perfect execution gonna be onto the back lane as well, chasing down Duan Yu. No bad at all, but still able to do some damage. Zian as well is gonna be able to heal himself back to full health. But Faye getting kind of the way. Juju as well, just unstoppable, untouched into the back lane. But Zian as well is still alive, slowing down the Camille. And it's done for the fight, man. Both of these teams just not giving any power to each other. Three for three. Yeah, wait. Is it so uh, strong to use, especially with the impact? Muromana, Trinity Force, Blade of the Winking, everything gets frocked with auto attacks. And the, also the Mystic Shot! All the different that way, we can might be in a lot of trouble this time around. Do one new, going with the package. Way boss, well, getting burst out! That's so fast! Especially with Zihan right now with the world enders, the Rusted Barrage is gonna be Gigan as well, still able to dodge it away. Face Esports 1 for 1 to think that they started it, but they got over Zealous a bit, and Weba getting caught is actually so crucial right now in this dragon fight. Yeah, Dragon is up. There's no jungler for the side of Trace Esports, so Weba is starting this out. They want to force Trace Esports into this fight. Camille in the back line. Lee Sao just checking the area as well, unable to actually get a good read because Faye is also in the vicinity. They saw the shockwave as well. Are there any steals? No. Up here in the bush, Duan Yu! No! Not like this! Stasis? Hey, Maybe stasis? the battle away! No! He flashed out! Unfortunate! Maybe he thought it would expire, but just 0.5 seconds off on the timer. And now Trace Esports starting the Baron. Weibo Gaming, are you really gonna be checking the area? Because Stack is gonna be here with the shield of the run. Still, if to zone them out, they force, they commit! The cast is gonna be used, Sienna is gonna be here as well, landing damage. 
having to get the isolation as well. The steel is not gonna come through. But still, Zeon wants blood, wants to stop everyone for Chase Eastburn. It's gonna be knocking attack. Bring him down, getting the cross back. It's over the pit, over the objectives here. Still is gonna be enough to slow him down. Block as well, his trajectory. His pathway in Weibo Gaming at least will get three. Yeah, get some Go to the bot side. Shove the bot lane, uh, bot lane away while top side looking at it. The wave is also shoved in cast for Trace. Mexico to meet him on to Faye. Still is able to stasis away. Juju as well as the sign to three hit of course with a mistake shot. But here comes Zeon. World and he wants to end the world here. Off place esports backline back is gonna be breached with a perfect execution by Korn. Two kills picked up already in wave of gaming. Three members left. Elder Dragons gonna be started. Zihan is trying to capitalize onto this, but will just be pinned down, forced to use stasis to buy some time. Do when he goes in, picks up the kill onto the Akali. Faye is trying to poke, but is unable to do it at all. Now Zihan is going to be chased out here. They do have the damage to just pin him down, kite him away, a double kill by Juju. And the Elder Dragon for P4 Trace Esports. Yeah, it's gonna be the Elder Dragon take here for Trace Esports. Look at the god, it's still in for the slightly mm, in They have it, Ezreal. They have it, Camille. So mobile, these two champions are. Oh no! This how? Okay, the body slam is a little bit better this time around, especially because of that hexic hexic they made them, but still, it's gonna get taken down again. They have the other dragon, and it's gonna be blown up upon by Trace Esports. Now, without the support, now without major CC here on the Weibo Gaming Days, they're gonna be starting the Baron. And it's still in the vicinity, throwing out the wind stash to anyone. It's there on that fire brush, but unable to find anyone as well. Faye also gets cancelled on the edge of night. Shot flash gonna be used, but unable to just get any sort of room towards the Baron and Trace Esports lane. Gets it so methodically and safely as well. They recognize that Faber Game can still turn this fight around. And just one mistake coming from Trace Esports. Still, the push is incoming. Top lane in Hip Tower gonna get taken down. Bottom lane as well is being threatened. The cast is gonna be used here. On the on the way, but still it's gonna be protected by the hero's entrance. He's gonna, gonna be in a lot of trouble this time around. All the inhibitor towers are gonna be taken down as well. As the top lane is being pushed as well. B South starting it up. Goes on the stasis. Still it's gonna be walking away. The Nexus is exposed. Then it's taking too much damage. Race Esports will just focus on it. Actually goes in for one more fight. As they want the blood here of Weibo Gaming. We'll get the outplay as well. As Fae falls down, Fan will not get killed because the Nexus is already out. Yeah, Trace Esports look like they were going for a clean win, but instead they kept. They go want to go for any tower dive. That's true, because we've seen a great win rate as well with this kind of combination, Akali and Shen. Because Akali will just go go in confidently, knowing that the Shen is gonna be there to back. For gaming, her. starting things off with a bit of safe play, putting down the red ward immediately in their entrance. Um, the red. Being baited a little bit there, way, but didn't get spotted. Fortunately, here for Trace Esports, this no. might signal a gap. <coughs> and they're gonna be used already. Hook shot a little bit deep there for Lisa. I might get caught. This is just gonna be used as a counter play. Have a great shield coming in from the Shen to bat to prevent any auto pass. And they do secure the first blood still. Weibo Gaming fighting back, getting the punish here, but Weibo Gaming is gonna get those two kills. Bottom lane though is gonna get a takedown here by Trace Esports. The one you try to capitalize over the Sended Orn that is through Barrage not gonna connect onto Tap, but Juju is so low. Faye is gonna be here in the bottom lane as well to just get the skill for the team. Yeah, and that's cross math play right now, I believe, at the bot side. Hopefully we see the replay, but Ooh, I would attempt to interfere, but mid lane, Southern Battle is going to be used already. Heroes entrance as a response, and the stun United to just allow the one year to be alive right now. And the counter, man, it's the one year that gets the kill. That's just insane. Comeback by Weibo Gaming. Top side, just a slight uh, chance. Trying to take kill, but Weibo, look at the gap, top side. And they want to answer back. They want something to take over this map, but it's just so impossible. Man, oh man, they, they, may they, this time Crazy Sports is gonna be in trouble! Man, call an ambulance, but not for me! It's gonna be for Crazy Sports! The tower's gonna be falling down into the now middle lane, hands of Weibo Gaming. It's never gonna be a numbers advantage for Crazy Sports. Not at all! The one you this time around is gonna get burst to down! Despite the stand united! And that's the good thing here for Trace Esports. That's the oh, minions to catch a bit of the damage, but yeah, it's the replay on the top side. Ah, uh, it's just Lee Sao trying to go for the trade against Zihan, I believe. And then Stan United gets popped by the end, and he can't get out. Hexec Ultimatum is on top of you. 
can't get away. I think that's gonna be worthy of a trade for them if ever they want to take this. They don't want the soul point here for Weibo Gaming. Sign right oh, gonna be Sanya. used as Fai is gonna go in 2000 HP on this right. There is gonna be a steal. No! It's a curse! Crazy Switch gonna go on to the members here of Weibo Gaming. Sign around still. Do one you being able to kite away. The dash through. Arcane Shift still gonna get taken. Oh! My trades is worth double killed by Weibo. And now they're online. Or towards this mid to late game. Bottom lane. He might actually engage here. Call of the Ward Guard is going to be used as well. Hexicle is going to meet him here. Arthur Lisa stopping him. Damn, still is able to walk away. Wave is going to be the next target here, but just is able to stay. Just the delay is just mind blowing here at Face Esports. Now they're in shambles. Here's entrance to just waste some of them. But again, Operation Dead. Seven Baron is still up. There's going to be the big objective attack. Whoa! Assassination on Juju. And now, wait. Weber will get at least two people here of today's esports now running towards the Baron. This is gonna be big. Yeah, it's gonna be big. Weber Gaming. There's five members of them on this Baron. There's only three members of Chase Esports on the map. I don't think they have any right to try and contest this. It was here. Lingering in the area, Zeon spots him out, just going with the tactical sweep, will be locking it out with the Hexic ultimate of denying on the steal! And Weibo Gaming will secure the ban, but they have to take on Korn, is dealing massive damage, still able to stay this away, Weibo Gaming is still fighting back, Lisa was well, fighting back here despite only three members of Trace Esports, they're shoving the members of Weibo Gaming away, just gonna go! And here's that is gonna be a here to try this way. Members here of today's esports. And they look back. Gate party still dashing away. Face chasing them down. Teleporting coming for Trace Esports. They want more. They want to fight. They want to chip down the members here of Weibo Gaming. They won't be successful this time. For buying time. They know they have the level. It's a, the wave as well as in the mid lane. Crashing down there. As they pull off now. Engaging through the barrage. Gonna be used. Sand United as well on the fake. Can he actually access the back line here? Call the forward. It's gonna be used as well as. Weibo is just going to be pinning down someone and runs onto everyone. Faye is just trying to get some kills here. The Gallus one's going to be picking up one. Tracy might actually be in a lot of trouble this time around. Weibo going to be running away through a corn as well. Just rift walking away after receiving of a bench. Weibo Gaming still able to get the team fight when getting the kills onto Trace Esports. And the Elder Dragon now is on the table. Yeah, Elder Dragon will be secured here by Weibo Gaming and... It was just a better fight coming out from Weibo Gaming and Korn was so late the global but Trace Esports they didn't really have a lot of choice at that point because only Zeon was the one who's showing up on the map to try to get that a bit of an advantage and now Weibo Gaming sieging down the search with the Baron buff with the Elder Drake buff they are in such a strong position in this game too Yeah, they're knocking on the base Trace Esports this time around similar to game number one 21 minutes in this time they're being challenged they're being contested the Elder Dragon is breathing fire on the Trace Esports Weibo Gaming after so long they wanted this and they're one step closer still it's gonna be defended here by Korn still getting the damage done but the base the Nexus is exposed this is gonna get pinned down and we're going to a game number three yeah game number three has been forced right here Against Trace Esports, Weibo Gaming Ollie in the top lane, Azeri in the mid lane, and massive, consistent DPS actually on Weibo Gaming side. And there's so much DPS coming from from this team. If they as well as a setup here for Weibo Gaming, yes, we see the burst, we see the damage, we see the consistent DPS, even some front lines on on their a side. Tickle in the mid lane. Tickle. And there's some tickle there by face. So this thing's not a little bit here, but they're getting exhausted already. As uh, Trace Esports actually coming to onto this engage, but they need to be very careful. Tax all of it low, it's still just gonna be the damage coming through. But Trace Esports as the lockdown pushes through, and Weibo Gaming did not expect that. Yeah, Weibo Gaming. Insane game. pressure already being established. Oh. Call the fourth card, gonna be a serious end as well. Onto the back side. As the one you're still gonna be in trouble. Weibo will be picking up the kill. Face gonna be here at least to deal some damage, but it's not yet the time for the Zeta to actually deal the damage here. Still gonna be able to flash away. And Tax just gonna be saying goodbye. All of the has been spawned into the mid lane, but the dragon's still gonna be fight here by Trace Esports. Call of oh. God onto the back line, seasons this onto the Hector Rim as well. Also, the Shadow still is gonna be able to pick up the dragon here for Weibo Gaming, but the one is gonna be in a lot of trouble. Big call to just pick up the kill. Trace Esports fighting and well, getting. They will try to extend it into three. Zeon, oh no! They got caught! And now the Adult and Battery is gonna be used as well alongside with the Hexagon that made them. And he will just be pinned down to the ground and the tower even. Time fan wants to have fun here in the bottom lane. 
Two versus four, but still Tracy was actually standing as well at the face! Oh! Which is glorious! Also, the chance is gonna be used just for the disengage with Wayne was gonna be chasing down with a plant as well. The motor maker gonna be denying all of those escape paths. Great charge as well towards Fane's gonna get taken down. Chica is all alone, will get spotted as well. A sad day for Weibo Gaming. Three of them get picked off, and Trace Esports is happy with that. Yeah, Trace Esports with a terrific a answer. Hours falling down in just five seconds. This is punchy gonna be used, and it feels good on as well. On the way, but on the side, it's gonna be used as well to try and pin down, but it's still able to survive! There's only bad to be here, all the fans still able to just run away! When the rest of Fable Game is gonna be shattered to the ground already! Wave was still alive! What is just happening here? Next is gonna be the one on the backside as well, and Trace is over! To just find <laughs> the Nexus and pin down Wave Gaming once and for all! You can try all you want, but you're just gonna be denied! Heroes Entrance, the hero will fall! And Trace Esports will rise up, still undefeated! Yeah, Trace Esports continues their undefeated series streak, winning 2-1 against Weibo Gaming, and that has put them in an 8-0, 8-0 series streak here against the whole of the league. Man, Trace Esports running wild in that last game, denying even any inch.